Brooksville City Manager Mark Cutney declined our request for an on-camera interview but explains the property was properly divided and surveyed and what happened amounts to a paperwork error that has since been rectified. Bobby Reed is the man who bought the property and tells me he always just wanted to do the right thing. The property appraiser when I went to get my address. And they said? We can't split the lot because you own the whole thing. Meaning the water tower? Meaning the water tower. All Reed wanted to do is open a fitness studio in downtown Brooksville. It was never his intent to purchase the city's water supply. He tells Eight on Your Side he moved quickly to get the issue resolved. Some locals believe this mistake should not be dismissed as water under the bridge. It was just shocking that they would sell the water tower, the city water tower, to somebody. As a, they claim as a mistake, but it didn't get found out, I hear, till they actually, he went and filed it. And then they just shrug and say, oh, we're human, we made a mistake. That's a pretty darn big mistake when you sell off a public utility. Others are a bit more forgiving. We have a really good city, really good mayor, really good city council people, except for I think when we are doing things like this, it's important to really pay attention. Bobby Reed just hopes his new fitness studio gets just as much attention as the water tower he used to own. It's called Downtown Athletics, uh, so it'll just be a boutique uh, studio, not necessarily an open gym. Uh, and that's the goal, to bring something to downtown that's not, you know, not here right now. And while this issue has been resolved, the city hasn't heard the last of it. The next council meeting is next Monday at 7. In Brooksville, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.